channel. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. Today I'm actually doing another video on Spy that I've done, like two, two, two videos already. But I thought it would be a good idea to show you guys on a live chart what happens. I recorded the whole session today uh, when I was trading and I thought it would be a good idea because I was watching, I've been watching Spy for the last few days now and I've been playing a lot of put options. Essentially because the reason is, you got to understand, uh, you know, right now market is not looking good and, you know, you, you, I wouldn't I wouldn't be overly bearish or overly bullish at this point. You just got to know, uh, you know, how the charts are behaving and I've established these um, three resistance and one support. Uh, which I did a couple of days ago, and they're working out beautifully right now. For example, if you see my chart, you know it hit the it hit the first resistance I had at three dollars and ninety two. I have about three dollars three hundred and ninety two dollars. It it went higher as as high as three ninety three. Now you, you cannot you cannot be precise, right? Like these are um, based off technicals that had happened in the past, so you cannot be you cannot be really precise with it. But there's a little bit of a margin, 10, 20 percent margin as to what you think is going to be and what the actual is going to be, right? For example, and then it hit the next resistance I had at $396. It hit the $395.80, so I was really close at that. Now, $1 or $2 is, you know, it's $1 or so, you know, sometimes it just happens because, you know, the candles that you're going off of from the previous uh, mar previous days usually are not um, established enough and you really can't pinpoint the exact exact number of how it's going to go. But but it hit that resistance, three ninety five eighty, which is close enough. It started coming down. Now, how the indicators usually work on these things, you got to understand that, right? So you see how the red candle started lining up. Your EMA, which is a blue line, it started cross over on your 48 periods, which essentially is saying that, you know, these 48 candles, these 13 candles are uh, are, are dropping in a price so significantly that it's, it's overtaking the price from last 48 periods, okay? Which means there's a steep ride down. And MACD is a moving average conversion diversion, which is the bottom of my screen. If you see, there's a, a brown line that crossed over the, the signal line, which is, you know, brown line is basically moving average conversion diversion. And what it's saying is that, okay, there's a histogram is basically below negative, which means a lot of people are overselling the stock. And now when you see green candles, right, and, and the green candles are coming in, but you've noticed the technicals are not, not moving as it's supposed to. Uh, the way the green candles are right so if the green candle came in ema started coming back to the 48 period like it's trying to match the 48 period uh sort of a moving average but then you know a lot of sellers are coming in and they're bringing down the stock so when you're trading these things right this very uh it, sometimes it gets hectic right because you know um you gotta you gotta you gotta control your losses as well and but if you know your indicators well and you play them right. And let's, for example, in this case, I was pretty confident that these resistance that I have here, you know, these are my stop losses. You know, if I'm shorting the stock, for example, if I'm buying put options, what my, you know, what my stop loss is going to be. And, but then I have a support, right? So it was, it, it, it was going toward that support in the beginning of the morning. And then it went up a little bit. Now I'm not in the position uh, of put position that is going to expire next week. Um, I'm buying, like I have a, a, a put option that is expiring on the 27th. So, you know, I have time to, for that, for that put option to be able to sustain some of the value uh, based on the Greek strike. Right? So now it started coming down when during the evening or like the evening time frame or so, it started coming down like, you know, after two o'clock or so started, it, it hit that three, $385 is my support. It hit that beautifully. And then um, it started bouncing a little bit back up. And look at the EMA, right? EMA saying it's way down now. Um, MACD is also started coming down. RSI is the relative strength index, which is uh, basically that the, the middle line that you see here, the blue middle line, uh, that's if below anything below 50 is means there's a majority of is being selling right now. Anything below above 70 is overbought. Anything below 30 is oversold. So anything 50, to my understanding, you know, what I notice from, from these things from experience is that anything below uh 40 50 is usually is like you know people are getting rid of the stock so so then you know it, it started going back up look these these things right um these charts uh, when you look at you know, and i you know i'm fast forwarding the chart because you know i don't want to make the video um five hour long because you know literally it's from 9 30 onwards i've recorded until you know four o'clock and and you know just the point i was trying to make is that chart moves up and down up and down but you establish the support and resistance and if you're if you have done your analysis correctly, it should line up with your resistance and your support, right? Because you and then you got to be confident about that, right? So this is my objective here: is get you guys information 
uh, which I usually use, you know, all the analysis that I do. And my objective here is to get you guys all this information so you can understand it and hopefully grow from this. And, you know, this is my whole objective for the channel. So, you know, this is my quick video for today. Hope you guys liked it. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, please do consider subscribing. I release video every day. The objective here is to get you guys information and release video on different stocks. And again, the objective is to make money. And none of this is a financial advice. Hope you guys like these videos and, you know, keep me motivated when I, you know, understand that people are really getting something out of it. So hope you guys like this video and um, give it a thumbs up and I'll talk to you guys uh, next video.